So today I am down in a southern Ontario limestone quarry searching for fluorite, sphalerite, and calcite on a local club trip. Got all my safety gear on. Let's go collecting. So I'm down in a quarry this morning and check out this rock I just found. Check this out. Fluorite, sphalerite, this whole seam here, I'm seeing purple fluorite. This rock is just going to be full of fluorite. I don't know how else to explain it. I'm going to smash this apart. Check that out right there. Beautiful. I can't believe this. And today, everyone is way down there and I'm out here by myself and I am finding some good stuff. So I'm going to smash this apart. If I find something good, and I know there is good in here, I'm going to get back to you. Well, I might as well bring you along for this because it's all broken apart. I'm seeing purple fluoride in there. All kinds of purple. Look at that. I got some right here just loose. Oh, I got to smash this all apart. But this big piece right here has potential. Check out that piece of purple fluorite. That's crazy. Look at that in the corner there. That is a good find. I wasn't expecting that today. Good find. Purple fluorite. And this whole rock is going to be full of it. So I'm just going to start smashing here. So still working in my spot here. I had that giant boulder. And I rolled it over. And look at these vugs with purple fluorite cubes and sphalerite. If I spend enough time smashing this apart, I should definitely find something good. You can see over here, I got this nice cube here, little broken piece. I mean, it's all going to be in this because that's the kind of layer you look for, this darker stuff. Over here, I saw a boulder with some galena in it, but I got to finish this first before I move on. Nice. So I busted into an awesome pocket here and I'm going to have to start going more gentle with this piece. Check out this crystal I just found. I didn't even see it at first. I just put this piece aside and then I was like, what's that on the end? That is an inch and a quarter cube of purple fluorite. I kid you not. I've never found anything like this there before. Look at that. That is crazy. And it's all coming out of this piece and I still have to bust all of this apart. Here's my pieces already. Sphalerite there, I mean, oh, fluorite, I can't even talk, I'm so excited. This is great, I mean, all these pieces have purple fluorite in them. I mean, that is just an awesome cube of fluorite there. This is crazy, I've never found anything like that in this site before. Let's keep digging. I've gone through most of that big boulder that had the fluorite, check this out giant inch and a half cube of purple fluorite i got this pocket here it's just full of fluorite i don't know how well you can see that i don't know if it's gypsum with a little bit of fluorite in it but it's got a beautiful pinkish purple color to that that's an absolutely good find and all these other purple cubes but that one that one right there that's the winner of the day so check out these pictures of my beautiful fluorite cubes I found at a southern Ontario quarry. Look at that zoning. It's got the beautiful purple color on the outside. It is absolutely crazy. It was a good day of collecting. So I got to try and show you this cube of purple fluorite here. Inch and a half and now I see a sphalerite sticking out of the side. But that is just a huge fluorite crystal for this location. I found tiny little purple fluorite cubes before, but nothing that gargantuan. That's probably the best crystal I found this year. Beautiful. I still got the other ones. Nice day to be out here digging. Still got some more work to do there. And over there somewhere I did see some Galena, but all this area has to be gone through. And so far, all the other collectors are staying in a different part of the quarry. So 
all for me today, I guess. It's really just dumb luck sometimes around here, but look at that piece. Look at that beautiful purple color in there. Nice. Thought I'd better take a walk around before uh, all the collectors come over to this spot, just see if there's anything, you know, obvious that I should be getting. Check this out. This is the good thing about joining a local club. You get access to these limestone quarries. You can come in, spend the day looking for crystals. You know, you gotta wear your boots, have your safety vest, hard hat, safety glasses on at all times. All the usual stuff for any uh, club trip to a quarry. But then you get to come in here and look at all this rock. Whew. Check this out. Well worth joining a club. I'm a member of the Walker Mineralogical Club and the uh, Kitchener Club as well, because every now and then they get into, uh, I can't name the quarry, but some nice Southern Ontario quarries. So I highly recommend joining your local club. I have most of that rock smashed apart now. Lots of nice purple fluorite. Got the old boulder here. I'm just going through the stuff below. I just found the nice little half inch multi-cube so i'm just going to go through these pieces and see what broke out naturally before i even got here it's got to be more here maybe some nice loose spellerates can hear all the other rock hounds digging beautiful day out here today Good find so far and still more time to go. I wonder if anybody else has found uh, as nice as the stuff as I found today. Check out the size of this cube of fluorite. Beautiful purple zoning on the edge there. Absolutely gorgeous. I chipped off a little bit of the top, but I don't think I can go any further. I think I'm gonna have to get the the guy with the gas saw and take this off because I don't want to break that. That's too nice. That is beautiful. Beautiful day out to be collecting in a quarry. <sighs> Look at that. Look at the size of that. <laughs> nice. Just thought I'd show you a few more pictures of my flurry cubes. Another good day of collecting some really good finds. Check out the awesome color, the awesome zoning. It was a good day and I can't wait to get back to this quarry. I highly recommend anybody join a local mineral collecting club and you get access to these sites and you can find beautiful crystals. Very peaceful today down in this side of the quarry. Just thought I'd show you my best finds of the day. One really nice cube of purple fluorite. One gargantuan cube of fluorite, one even bigger cube of fluorite with nice purple zoning on the outside. That's got to be two inches across. And this giant blob, I'm not quite sure what it is, but it has a little fluorine in it, I think, and that's giving it that beautiful pinkish color. Yeah, maybe it's fluorite, who knows? But those are the finds of the day. So I'm just going to take a walk around in this section of the quarry and see if there's uh, anything else kicking around. Just check out this cube of fluorite. All kinds of crystal faces on there. Absolutely beautiful and a sphellerite crystal stuck in the side. I can't get over that. That is the biggest crystal I have ever found at this site. Look at that. Beautiful. That made my day. It's getting near the end of the day. My car has some rust on it. It's a Ford Escape. Some people call it rust. I call it character. So it's been a good vehicle so far. I can't complain. Check out this vug of calcite. Look at that. That's huge. I wonder if, well, it'd be almost impossible to smash that off, but that is, that's beautiful. Look at this. Look at this cavity. All calcite crystals. That's crazy. I might get my hammer out and try and take that off, but I highly doubt that that is going to come out. But it's pretty, that's for sure. 
I hear a saw going way in the background. Somebody's found something. Well, I got the first piece out. Some nice little one inch calcite crystals. Beautiful. But this is all loose up here. I've just been working on it with my little sledgehammer and this is all loose. Check this out. <laughs> Look at that plate of calcite crystals. That's awesome. Man, this day is turning out good. Good finds. Add that to the pile. I don't know how well this is going to stay together, but there's definitely more in here. Oh, these are just like falling off. Oh well. Oh. Look some of those points though, that's nice. Well, sadly, I think what I have is the best things that are gonna come out of this. That's not bad, that's a good find. Not as good as the floor, right? Still nice though. Well, I got some decent calcite finds. One really nice crystal. This one has some Weird morphology going around. I'm not sure what's going on here, but I'm gonna take it home and see if it fluoresces. Check out this vug of calcite crystals. Look at this. That is all calcite. The one guy told me to come over here. He said someone with some know-how could get this out. I guess if you had a gas saw, you could, but man, that's a lot of crystals. But it's getting late in the day and it is time to go home. So I was lucky number five today. It was a good day of collecting. Got to make sure we tag out at the end of the day. Somebody left some rocks here for us. Yeah. Nothing too special though. Or where'd these come from? US, Pennsylvania. Oh, I wonder if that was Don. Probably. What's huh? in here? Oh, what's that? Hey, that are these freebies? Hematite, Cherub Lake, New York. It looks like it. Somebody took some. Oh, I'm gonna take some too. That's kind of nice. <laughs> oh, you, you go for that one, man. Okay, you were there you. first. What's this? Is this this calcite or? Uh, That's nice. I'll take it home and see if it fluoresces. Yeah, it's from. But it looks. What's this? It's hema. Uh, here we Hematite. go. Hematite. Um, Chub Lake. That's where it is. In Chub New York. Lake. I might take a small plate of calcite too. Uh, what do I feel like here? That one's got some calcite on it. That one's got a lot. Whew. Nice. So somebody was kind enough to leave a bunch of hematite from the States for us. That was very nice of them. I'll have to return the favor one day if I ever make it down to the States to do some collecting, but some nice freebies. Nice way to end the day.